something's going on. It seemed a little fishy. I wasn't sure what was going on. Is now in our pasture. Was in his for about, I guess, of maybe a week. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. This is kind of a different video, a special video. Um, kind of a special occasion, maybe I should say. Got Brooks hanging out with me. Some of you may have already seen this or heard about it, but good friend of mine, um, Noah, who you saw in my, one of my previous videos, went to Missouri. Me and my wife and Brooks went to Missouri. We went up there to film Noah and his family getting their first herd of bison to start a bison herd. We had a fun time in Missouri uh, with them. We came home, talked to Noah a little bit, asked him how his uh, heifers were and how his calves were. And see, so Noah came back and reached out to me in the fall of 2020. He came out, he, uh, you know, he's getting back into it and he's gonna start a YouTube channel. He came and visited me, he talked to me and hung out and we he interviewed me and whatnot. We stayed in touch. And then we went to Missouri and we did all that. And then we came back home and just a normal Saturday. We typically the weekends is when we spend a lot of time with the bison. That's just what we do. It's our time to hang out with the bison and we work on the farm. Well, um, my wife was like, are we going to go to the farm? Let's, let's go see the bison. So we loaded up and came over. Noah sent me a text and asked me if I was going to be around the farm in the next 30, 35 minutes. And I'm like, what in the world what's going on and he travels a lot for work and 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 going and seeing other bison uh producers and i'm like okay he's just traveling around and then he said bring a gopro and i'm like hmm something's going on it seemed a little fishy i wasn't sure what was going on so anyways um showed up and i recognize his vehicle of course but he's pulling a trailer and i'm like oh gosh what is going on here and so i looked at marissa and i get over there and of course he's got number 90 heifer calf that he bought at the sale all along i had no idea the same calf i was looking at that he purchased was going to be one of mine I had no idea so when i got here he walked over there and he's got the calf in there that little heifer number 90 is now in our pasture was in his for about i guess so maybe a week or two weeks and now she's here and totally surprised me totally shocked me and about a month and a half or two months ago when you okay posted your video about uh your first heifer calf dying i had a little wild hair of hey what am i gonna do for dusty for uh coming out all the way out there and filming our first oh my first uh I figured this was the one thing you couldn't turn down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't now. I can't. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh my gosh. So she is. Uh, she is the third place according to me. Let me see. <laughs> Watch nice <laughs> Hold on, Dude, seriously, Hold on. You don't have to do this, man. No, I want to do it. Seriously. Oh my gosh, man. This is awesome. What? Are you serious? <laughs> I told her, I was like, he's up to something. <laughs> he said, when he said, bring the GoPro, I'm like, okay, this is something, something's going on. I had to ask her last week if you guys were going to be out here. Oh. Because I've been so planning you, this for about two months, and I'm like, how in the world am I going to get Let me tell you. These guys oh. She, she was like, no, you're one. not. I said, no, yes, I am. <laughs> Trying to get him, like, pinned down on a schedule or, like, where he needs to be at any particular time without him knowing the reason why is very difficult. <laughs> This is crazy, man. Thank you so much. Let him out. Right there. Our cat. Okay. That's good, Mom. Look out. Thanks. That's good.
Look, look at him. That stupid rooster. Just incredible. That's what this is about is Noah watches all my videos and you know, we, we're kind of a community. Bison people are a community. And I know there's not very many bison YouTubers out there. We kind of keep up with each other and whatnot. Well, Noah noticed and knew that I had lost a calf back in January. And you guys saw the video of that this year that I had lost a heifer calf, my very first ever heifer calf, which was really tough on me. And Noah's been down that road and he remembered that. And I think he started scheming a plan the whole time. And I had no idea even when I went to that sale and actually saw that heifer and watched him buy her and help him unload her and all that at his property. This is what this is about. Um, I'm very fortunate and lucky, first of all, to do this, all of this, okay? We're so lucky to do what I do. Lucky my wife lets me do this and she supports me. And we've got this little girl here who's eating some hay. Get all get to do all this together. And so it's about relationships. It's about community. It's uh, we're all in this for these animals here. Um, we raise these animals because they're unique. You know that word we always use, majestic, fantastic animals. Just there's so many positive ways to describe these animals, and um, we get to be around them. What are you doing? You gonna let him out? You gonna let Eleanor out? Yeah. Say hi, Eleanor. Tell her hi. Mm -hmm. There you go. We're just very blessed and very lucky to be able to raise these animals. And you know what, guys? The other thing that you may not, the other thing that you may not understand or know about but just like going to these bison conferences or um, keeping up with um, the people that um, you get to know along this journey, that's what it's about. It's, it's about the relationships. And just like when I go to those conferences, it's, it's way different than the cattle industry because when you go there, everybody's there for the same reasons. They're all there to raise together a story and a journey of raising these bison. And, and they've all started it, you know, somewhere. They've all had a beginning. And um, it's been a story for lots of people. And when you go to those conferences, it's like a big family. And that's what we love about it. And that's what I really enjoy about it. Hey, you can't go in there. That's just one of the great things about the bison industry and the, and the National Bison Association is everybody's willing to help. There's no secrets or anything about raising these animals. Everybody has one goal in mind, that's to raise these awesome animals. And so we have the opportunity to do that. And then just part of this business is you can make good relationships. You can go to those conferences and yes, you're gonna learn. You can learn from other producers, but it's about the bonding uh, that you get to make with these people about these animals and share each other's stories and whatnot. And that's, that's the fun part about this whole deal is she gets to be a part of this, not with your hand in the pen, good lord. But it's uh, you get to do all this together with friends along the way, and that's that's what um, you guys really don't see on my side of it. That's one of the benefits about this whole organization, this whole association. It's a family. That's what we've created, and that's what no one I have created, and um, that's what it's about. And it's gonna grow. We want that to continue and we want our kids, hey, we want our kids to be a part of this as well. You guys may not get to see that that much. I just wanted to share that with you. Very lucky and very thankful for Noah and his family. Very surprised and um, shocked that um, he would even do something like that. And we didn't ask for anything. You know, Noah comes down here, drives five and a half hours on a Saturday drives all the way down here with his wife and kids, basically uh, gives us the calf, surprises me, and then 
we hang out for a little bit we release her in the pasture and then they got to go all the way back to missouri so they don't get home too late and uh that's awesome i can't ask for a better friend um, regardless if he gave me a calf or not. Noah's a good guy. I just uh, hope that we continue growing relationships like uh, what Noah and I have, or I should say our families now have, because um, it's awesome um, and it's a great experience. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Get out there. Oh. <clears throat> so far, she's doing great. She's kind of over there by herself a little bit. She comes up and she's eating grain. Uh, she hangs out and plays with the other calves. Um, we're just excited to have an, an addition to this bison herd. As you guys know, I just want to grow the herd. That's kind of my, it's kind of my motto right now is just grow the herd and thankful uh, for Noah. We grew a herd <laughs> fast and unexpectedly uh, the herd grew. So having those females, which means we can have more calves in the future and that's uh, that's exciting. And plus, I think she's from Iowa. Going back and looking at the, the paperwork, I think she's from Iowa. So that's exciting to have some different genetics here. Are you getting mad? Can't get in there? Are you getting mad? Hey, look at Eleanor. I can't wait to see what this heifer has in store. I'm just excited to have her here on this farm. And the great thing about it is we'll be able to talk about her for, you know, hopefully the next 20 years or so and get to share our stories about Noah doing what he did and um, all the babies that we hope to see out of her. Thank you guys for following us. I appreciate you guys uh, wanting to be a part of this story and want to be a part of this journey. If you haven't subscribed to us, guys, we are raising the American bison here. I just want to thank Noah and his family for surprising me. That's awesome. I just completely blown away by it. I still can't thank him enough for doing that, for taking the time out of his weekend and them driving this far down here to do this. I hope to continue the relationships that are a part of raising these awesome animals, guys. Just thank you for watching. I also have a new shirt. I want you guys to check it out. Kind of came up with that, Pioneer of the Plains. You guys can check this shirt out online. I don't have a whole lot of these shirts. This is the very first time we've ever printed this shirt. So if you want to, go on our website at crosstimmersbison.com and you can actually buy this shirt. It's on there. I have a limited supply in this color. It's kind of like a heather green color, maybe a military green color. If you're interested, uh, you can go online and buy that. Thank you guys. See, what's nice about this camera is I can see, Brooks, this is a GoPro 9. I do a lot of my filming off it, and I can see the front screen. So I can always keep an eye on the munchkin.